Okay, there are two games I want to show you this time, Dead Pixels and its sequel. As you can see, it's got this 8-bit retro look to it, and uh, it's a pretty minimalist zombie shooter. Just walk around here, shoot and stab zombies with a shotgun. So, uh, it's one of those games where you have to be a little uh, cautious with your ammo, because you don't get all that much depending on the mode and depending on how much luck you have scavenging so you can go into um apartments and stuff here's a trader which is a bit early i don't really have much money right now uh, you can also upgrade your abilities you know, more health running speed uh, more melee power and doing more damage things like that which is uh, pretty nifty. So it's got a bit of an RPG element, not too much. Um, and the music. The music is freaking awesome. Just listen to that. I definitely like that. The music is really cool. Melee is a bit risky. I mean, if you get the exact right distance they can't really touch you but um, yeah it takes a while of course and it's not advisable when you're surrounded obviously uh, some more shells so you just you don't have to reload it's just just keep firing just that your ammo supply goes down so as said pretty simplistic overall as far as I'm concerned again it's fun but um, I wish it was a little more a little more complex and had a little better graphics and this is where the second comes in which I'm going to show you right now in fact I'm, I'm just gonna show you uh, one other mode here and then I'll show you the, the sequel and there you just have to deal with hordes of zombies you know one wave after the other and the pistol has unlimited ammo, so you don't have to worry about dealing with uh, and running out of ammo or having to melee them. But the pistol is pretty weak, so doesn't help too much against hordes, especially if they are fast. Headshots, you don't have to bother because it doesn't matter. There's always going to be some variation in damage. Doesn't matter where you hit them, you can shoot them in the... Well, not really in the foot, because if you if you go that low, you're going to miss them all outright. But uh, there's really no aiming involved. It's just, you just run around, fire. And it's really more about the, the maneuvering, trying to get away from them. While ideally also grabbing the money, which is, is not always easy. <laughs> I think that the rats are hilarious. <laughs> just fleeing before the horde of zombies. It's kind of a nice touch. Oh, wait, what's that? That's a thing. Yeah, you do get a bit of extra ammo occasionally, which right now doesn't really help with the pistol. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and notice the uh, the humor in here. Walkers <laughs> as a store name. And uh, the guns. It's There's lots of Resident Evil references. And yeah, Army of Darkness, Boomstick. You know, Burton, Shotgun, Foster, Valentine. There's, there's a lot of references in there, which is quite nice. I like that. Um, yeah, let's do the chainsaw. Why not? Get some ammo for it. Well, not ammo, but uh, fuel. Let's see, where is the fuel? Yeah, gasoline. And let's run out and <laughs> cause some mayhem. That's really what the game is about, mayhem. Just, yeah! <laughs> it's just pure mindless fun. You just saw them apart and there's blood splattering everywhere. And, you know, one of the, that kind of game where you just you just have a bit of fun going wild. But Chainsaw is definitely a lot of fun. And here is Dead Pixels 2, which in my opinion is better in every regard than the first one. It's quite a huge improvement, even though it's still in development. The, the only way to get this right now is to pre-purchase it. And generally, of course, I say do not pre-order anything ever. But, you know, there is exceptions and I made one in this case and I have not regretted it. So 
it, this time around you can actually customize the uh, your character. And uh, I have made one beforehand, so let's jump into it and I'll show you how this goes. So this is great for people of my age because I grew up in the 90s and this is all 90s style. It's it's hilarious. It's <laughs> okay. So first of all, one thing I really like is you have like the, the melee attack is so much better. It has an actual animation. It's a secondary weapon. You can equip um, different secondary weapons. It's and of course it's 16 bit as opposed to 8 bit, which I prefer by far. I mean, I grew up mainly on 16 bit. I, I actually skipped the NES, kind of. I, I had started out with an Atari 2600, yeah. May the gods be merciful. Um, and then, meanwhile, my friends hadn't had an NES, and I was super jealous. And then I got a Super Nintendo. So that was really the origin of my gaming, pretty much. So this here is pretty cool. I very much like that you can now actually walk into the you know the the bars and, and apartments and stores and stuff that is really cool quite like that and uh this the, the whole display it, it it is it drips 90s the only thing i don't like about this is that it reminds me of just how cheesy the 90s were they were oh i mean unbearably cheesy how did i <laughs> how did i not realize that at the time especially since funnily enough during the 90s, I thought the 80s were cheesy, and I still do, but now I realize that the 90s were still pretty full of cheese, and um, I'm pretty sure in another 10 or 20 years, we would say that the 2000s or the, the, the 2010s were cheesy and everything. Ah, uh, well, there's that. So, it's pretty neat. Uh, the the uh, cars are destructible, by the way. Let's see if I can blow up some zombies let's get them over here come on hey you too not just one of you you get over here get over here ugly face and they also notice gunshots in the distance the police car i'm just gonna mess with that and as you can see in in the sequel you do have to reload which is nice Just makes it a bit more interesting. Come on. Just blow up already. <laughs> I know it works. It's just now that I'm trying to demonstrate, it doesn't want to do anything. What the hell? <laughs> there we go, finally. What took you so long? What took you so long to blow up? I mean, seriously. <laughs> okay, that's what she said. Anyway, so here you can find the usual loot, stuff that you can can sell, medikits, wouldn't be the the items uh, items you had in the first as well, grenades, all that stuff. But uh, this just adds more options. I definitely like the bat a lot more than the little knife. You can also stun them sometimes. And zombies can actually walk in. Well, let me just get his attention and then walk in there and then you'll see that he actually follows me, which is pretty cool. Do like that. There's a flare, another bat, I can sell that. Yeah, there he is. Get some. So, really cool. It's so much better. I mean... Like I said, the first one is fun, don't get me wrong. There's nothing particularly wrong with the first. It's just, I like this so much more because it's it's that much more... Um, I don't want to say polished because the way the first is is obviously intentional. But this is just the more complex and uh, just more rewarding game i would say it's just more enjoyable to play there can be zombies in here again it's still in, in an early stage they're probably going going to add a lot more stuff and at this point you can save which sucks a little bit but the thing is 
they're only offering this to those that actually deliberately pre-purchased the game. They didn't just go, okay, good enough, release it. The way it happens with so many early access games. I don't particularly like that. There are so many early access games that are, you know, officially published and they are just, they're just not ready at all. And this is a lot better than the fully, uh, many of the fully published games that I've seen or had the misfortune of trying. Even though it clearly is in an unfinished state and they, they don't claim anything else. So there's that. Oh yeah, and you can now actually set hotkeys. There are a few things that definitely need to be improved. For one, what I don't like at this point, the guns just sound pretty pathetic. They are much quieter than the rest, so there, there seems to be a volume balance issue. Whereas, you know, the, the strikes with the melee weapon and the sound for a zombie dying is, is much louder, so that is pretty weird. Which, um... You could say it's not a big deal, really, but it kind of is, because it's important that the weapons you have actually feel good, that you actually want to use them. And, I mean, feel, of course, in a game it's not it's not haptic, but you know what I mean. The, the sound, the animation, that all contributes to a quote-unquote feel of the weapons. And um, that right now, I mean, the animation is good. I definitely like that. It's just... Um, the sound is, is not great. It's nice that the, the the ejected empty casings lie around. They do disappear after a while, as you can see, but nice detail. You can also reload manually. And uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun, for sure. And some of the zombies are pretty hilarious. Like this, they did completely nailed the uh, stereotypical 80s and 90s jogger. It's, it's really good. And the music, once again, is extremely well done. It definitely gets you that 90s feel. I, I kind of wonder in some ways what this game would be like if you were born in like the, whatever, the mid 90s or something and don't have any memories of that time. I don't know, but for me it's hilarious because <laughs> I do remember this stuff. You can you can also find, um, what's that, Walk Boys? <laughs> so it's a reference to the good old Walkman. Um, yeah, again, some of you will probably not even remember what that is. And, and cassettes, you know, audio cassettes. Oh yeah, here's something hilarious. <laughs> the way the... The shotgun just blows the little poodle zombie away. It's freaking hilarious. It's just the humor in this game is, is spot on. I definitely like that. <laughs> and those are annoying little suckers. They just... You think, oh, crawling zombies, no big deal. And then they suddenly launch themselves at you. Flying zombies. Flying half zombies. Anyway, so this game is awesome. Even though it is in an early stage, it's, in my opinion, it's definitely worth getting. Even now already. Uh, but, of course, it's always better technically to wait until the game is fully finished and everything. But uh, I'm already having fun with it, and I can only recommend it. The music is just... Man, they, they completely nailed it. And I feel so old. This game makes me feel old. Which is... <laughs> Pretty much my own, one of my only complaints I have about the game. It makes me realize how cheesy the time was during which I grew up and it makes me feel old. But otherwise, it's good. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching.